Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome to another episode of Academy Answers. Um, pardon my my audio today, but you know I don't have a mic, but it's okay. As I always say, we will not allow perfection to get in the way of execution. So Academy Answers podcast, if it's the first time you're coming to us, welcome. And this is about answering some of the questions from my blog, my website, from social media that I get or as it relates to personal development, anything having to do with full potential success, productivity, just becoming a better person, living your full potential. And that's what we talk about. That's what we believe. And um, and uh, we're sticking to it. We So we, we, we usually get an- questions from people and we answer them personally. I respond to all my emails. I'm not on social media or on my blog or anywhere at all stroking my ego, trying to pile up followers. I'm not the guy who has... 20, 50, 100,000 people following them and they're following two people and they never, never answer to anybody and they don't respond to their texts and messages. I don't do that. If I get to the volume where I realize that um, it, it is difficult to do that, I'll hire somebody to do it or, and, and I'll do it just as I'm doing now to more or less put the answers in a, develop a framework where I can respond to these things maybe not specifically to your inbox but if you follow me if you're a member of my community then you'll uh, you'll be exposed to the content so you you can look out for it i'm going to say something on the topic if you ever mention it if you ever send me the the the, ans- the questions i'll send you stuff i i'll i'll direct you to, to someone or somewhere if i don't have the answers and i'm here to serve that is paramount it's all about what i can do to create an impact to um, bring value to the world and to my community i honestly believe in that so this question is um i i've been working for for, for to, at this um job for for so many years i have a hectic life i have kids um some of the kids are grown um uh, the, I, I have ambition i want to do I'm something with my life but you know these long years and long hours at the job and rough tough commute really are stacked against me and I I don't know how or if it is possible to run the type of life and schedule that I run and still make something of yourself and um, the, the, the company doesn't seem to want to do much um, in terms of moving me um, uh, um, promotions and, and, um, and benefits and that stuff so I feel stuck I understand that that is probably easily a research was done I think about a decade close to a decade ago that shows that 90% of people in the United States are unhappy with their job they get up on a Monday morning and go to jobs that they don't like that is a common paradigm and it's not it's not a problem that they don't like these jobs the problem is more that they have been doing these jobs for 10 15 20 years and they haven't found a way to break themselves up so this is my opinion on it and um you you know what what belief uh, base i come from i come from a belief base that we all have something in us that um some researchers have said it's up to four things that we could do very well. And of one of those four, we could really be great at it. So I believe in that. And I believe whatever we get, whatever desires we have uh, in our hearts, God, our creator has given us the ability within to, 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 to develop that and to manifest it and to make a better life from it. There are so many different school of thought. There is a, the school of thought of the 1,000 um, followers, the 1,000 people who, who are just dying to hear you. And if you find those 1,000 people, you could make a life from providing value to them and they would pay you for that value. There is the, the, the notion of if you become excellent, if you become good at what you do, if you are great at it, there's absolutely nothing to stop you from being found in this day and age. And there's nothing stopping you from monetizing it. There's so many people out there doing great things. So the first thing I'll tell you to be aware, um, 
don't sleep on these guys my friend don't sleep which guys am i talking about don't sleep on corporations don't sleep on government don't sleep on politics what do i mean by that don't just be there in a cloud and not understanding what is happening around you man it is all a scheme and a system and it works for those who know how it works there's a system there's a method in everything in the malls you go to in the cards and the big financial institution in your mortgage in the food establishments you eat at in the food store in the clothing store in the school system there's a system my friend if you don't understand what's going on there you're sucked into what they call a funnel and they squeeze you for everything you got and then they live the life just as the saying goes if you don't have a plan for your life somebody else will fit you into their plans for their life and we all know what that will turn out to be so i'm telling you not to sleep on these guys don't sleep on yourself man. don't be lost and be caught up in what's around what's going on around you and all the fancy things and social media and all the distractions and all the ads and all the pronouncements and all the fear-based content that the media provide all that things that in your environment don't sleep on it don't sit there and just lay back and just let it come at you and not try to find a way to know the truth and get to the bottom of what you can do to move yourself and your family forward it is possible and when i talk this way people think i'm attacking their television and they think i'm attacking their luxuries and they think i'm attacking their fancy life and they think i'm attacking their jobs i'm not doing any of that all i'm saying one simple straight up thing that i'm saying my friend and just get me good on this and if, if you if if i'm not the one you listen to regularly if you have your mentors that's fine i don't serve the entire world just test what i'm saying against what anyone else is saying and and listen to 25 beyond 25 years of history and listen to some of these fundamental guys who are speaking now not the ones that are flash flashing laws lives and cars and trying to pull you into another funnel and trying to sell you another thing and try to pull scarcity and trying to trigger you psychologically to do things not those ones genuine people you know genuine people people who come from a humble type of uh, of angle you can match what i say against match what i say against what they say and this is what i'm going to tell you you can take this and go match it you don't have to take my word for it i'm not giving i'm not taking away your tv i'm not saying giving up your video games i'm not saying giving up a vacation i'm not saying giving um uh your, your evenings your ledger your, whatever you do you have 24 hours in a day this is what i'm saying you have 24 hours in a day man start to think about where your time is going try and get an hour an hour and a half if it can't happen in the evenings get it on your day off get an hour and a half each day get an hour each day get three hours on your day off is that's the only thing on your weekend just spend that three hours and call it an investment in yourself in these hours you will not be spending time you will be investing time to grow your awareness and to develop your potential anything that you believe in success leave clues success has no prejudices if you find out the methods proven methods if you watch what successful people do and duplicate it you will reap the results also so i'm just saying block some time adjust your schedule go to bed wake up 10 minutes earlier eat better so for have more energy exercise get some meditation going get out the noise start to read start to listen to powerful stuff and try to find yourself when you get calm when you get out of that noise your internal guidance system will lead you you will run into the answers that you're looking for it's not going to be easy man it's not easy but it's not complicated you know, I could tell you, I could give you some calculus problem, or I could tell you to um, get out your car, go on top of that stoplight, figure out the program that they have in that thing, and try to change how often it comes out. That is hard. But if I, t that is complicated. If I tell you to walk 100 miles, it is hard. 
but it's not complicated. It's simply putting one foot in front in front of the next. And what I'm telling you to do is like telling you to walk a hundred miles. It is hard, but it's not complicated. I'm saying block some time to read, to listen to powerful stuff, to meditate, to focus better on your diet, to spend time with your family, to to to, to find what it is that you are here for, your why and spend your days pursuing that, your spare time. You know, I'm not telling to leave your job and to, to, to turn off TV. I'm just saying that find some time that is dedicated to that and just do it, man. And if you do it, if you do that, you will find your life change and you'll break from this monotony and you stop thinking that you're at an effect or that life is over for you or that these corporations have you by the balls and that life backs you into a corner and there is no hope. Just find some time. Because time is the most important resources you have. Everything you need, you already have. And what you want, you can work for. So there you go. Work ethic and discipline. Just build some habits and do that one and a half hour every day. Or do that three, four hours on your day or four on your weekend. Block the time and call it you time. When you don't spend time, you invest the time. And an investment means something that you put in to get a return from later down the road. Thank you guys, this has been kind of long, but I had to bring this to you today. It is something that I'm truly passionate about. Have a good one, bye.